Hello and welcome back to my channel Soul Journey. My name is Beck, and today I am doing another plant unboxing. I am cutting myself off for the time being. I did kind of get into a little like obsessive plant buying spree. Um, this plant I got off of Etsy and I meant to look at this first, but I will, let me say, yes, so I ordered this on June 10th, which today is the 13th, so it got here fairly quickly. I'll give you all the deets. I got this from Plant Emporium, and I ordered it on June 10th. And this item, which I will show you in a second, was $14.95 and the shipping was $9. So I thought that was really awesome. And they answered the questions I had. It's in this fairly large box. So it's been a couple days, so I really hope it came, you know, good. I hope this is the top <laughs> because if it's not... Seems like they kind of jimmy rigged this box. So hopefully it works. I don't think this is supposed to have a pot, so. So excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. So I don't know if any of you can guess what this is. It's it's a pretty coveted plant. And I've been wanting one for a while, so I thought I would, I would get one. This looks like it's packaged really well. So it's got all of this, like, paper around it. So, so far so good. And I can see the leaves in the top. And they look good. So, hopefully... It got here safe. I am also going to show you <clears throat> this weekend I was at one of my soul family's houses and I got a few other plants. So I am going to do a little. Can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Like, it's like a slow reveal. that's like super cliche but like it literally is oh my god okay so oh my god this is so much better than I ever thought it was gonna be okay so we've got four leaves they are looking a little bedraggled because I'm sure it needs some water this one's looking gorgeous on the thing it said like we can't you know we can't guarantee you know the the holes or whatever in the leaves um but Hold up, boyfriend's calling. Boyfriend. Okay, back to my excitement. So, we have four leaves. Um, one's a little bendy bent, but again, I think this is because it's just need a little water. This one's looking, look at this, look, look, ah, it's so magnificent. And then we got this one with the little holes in it, which is so cool. It looks like there's a little tiny rip, but that's okay. And then we have one full leaf right there. Now, there's a little hole in this. I hope that's, you know, more just like the plant doing its thing and not, you know, bugs or anything. I don't see any bugs or anything. I've heard, basically this place has like just a ton of awesome reviews, so I'm pretty excited. Um, it doesn't come in a pot, um, which is good. Like, I feel like, I mean, unless the plant can't handle that, I feel like that's a better way to ship because, you know, the dirt just gets everywhere and it just can be kind of a mess. So I feel like this is like, this just makes way more sense. So let's have a look at the roots. So they just put it in this plastic bag and 
wow, yeah, the roots look really good. It's got some good roots on it. This is so beautiful. I'm really excited. Everything looks really healthy. So this is amazing. I'm going to pot this up ASAP. Um, do you guys want to join me for that? I mean, I suppose I could just do that on here. But first, but first, I want to show you the other plants I got over my, the weekend. I went to a two nurseries. So the first nursery I went to, I got this adorable little prayer plant. I've been wanting a prayer plant for a while. So I got this. I still need to dust its leaves a little. Um, but it is super happy. It was actually a little more like folded up when I got it. Um, but it, it's really starting to spread out now, so it's exciting. I forget the exact type of prayer plant, but that's that. And then the other plant I got there, which I, I still need to pot up, is I believe this like little begonia. I forget exactly the type of begonia it is, but it is a little spotted one, and it's super happy. Um, I watered it a little bit, and it seems to be doing pretty good, so pretty excited about that. And then... I got this at the other nursery, and I've been wanting a snake plant for ages. I'm super excited. They're low light plants. They're like on the list of like low light plants. They're always like the first, right? And um, I did notice there were like I saw a couple spider mites in like and around, but it doesn't seem like this one has any. But I did spray it with like soap and water, and I'm really watching it, so it's doing its thing. Um, so hopefully it will be fine. Um, there are really easy natural ways to deal with spider mites. They're very, very common. Um, you just have to keep on top of it. So I'm doing that. I'm looking at it. I'm watching out for it. And so, yeah, if you guys want me to do a video on how I'm dealing with that, let me know. Um, so those are the plants and none of those are actually in pots. They're just sitting in pots. So I'm doing that. Actually, what I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna have a little spray spray on this little guy. Make sure he's super spider mite free because you don't want that. Okay, he's doing good. He's doing good. Okay, so should we pot up the monstera? Should we do it? I think we should. Again, I am such a newbie, so if there's anything that you feel like I'm missing or I could do better with love, definitely comment down below. I'm open to suggestions, and I want my babies to thrive, so feel free to tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I have to get more dirt. <sighs> I just had this, like funny thought like just like half a bag of dirt is so heavy like and that's how heavy like earth is right like how heavy dirt is how heavy planet earth is like like you don't really think about it right like you don't think about that stuff I mean, I'm sure someone does like biologists and geologists and stuff but it's like how heavy because like I can barely lift this little wee bag of dirt and uh yeah so Moving on. Alright, let's let oh yay. Uh you know, just just keeping it real. Okay, let's try this again. So we've got potty mix. And 
pencil. I've heard that this needs like well draining soil. So I'm going to mix a little of my cactus mix in here because I believe microtone. I feel like this is such a learning curve. I don't even I don't even know. So okay now you know what I'm just gonna do this. This is a good potting mix works. I'm gonna trust it. I'm gonna trust them internet. Do you guys have like a favorite brand of soil you like? There's so many like, there's so many options and I don't, I got this potting soil from John Michael's dad, so I have nothing to go on. <laughs> okay, plant. Now the roots are slightly to the side, but I want this in the middle, so I've got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to have a little like, <laughs> I'm already to the point where I'm like, I need to stop buying plants. And honestly, it's not because like, I don't want to keep buying plants because like, who doesn't? But I have one room I can keep my plants in <laughs> because of the cats and lighting and all this stuff. And, um, look at those already standing up. Um, all things. Um, and the lighting, like, in this room is really good, but it, it, because of, like, the trees outside, it, like, does not come very far into the room. So all of my plants are dealing with, like, fairly low light, so I really try to push, you know, the ones that need the light up by the window, and I really try to organize them so they can, like, get what they need, but it's just really difficult, and there's only so much room you know, around, around the window. So I'm going to have to like, now that I've got a handful of plants that like, I really, really am excited about, I'm, I'm just going to have to <laughs> slow way down because one, I need to, you know, give the plants I have the care they need, but also like, I just don't have the room and I've already like definitely run out of room and I'm trying to find like spots for everything. It, it's kind of a problem actually, so cutting myself off. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this one. This is like my first like real big plant, like big leaves and you know all of that. So I'm pretty excited. Everything I've gotten other than this is like fairly small even if it's supposed to grow big I've gotten it fairly small this is kind of my first like real like poof. even this obviously is like small for a monstera because monsteras grow fairly large <sighs> okay. <laughs> come on bag of dirt you can do it okay so here we go here it is I'm going to put it by my window because it says it can handle low-ish light, but like the leaves aren't going to do their, is it called striation? I forget. Um, but that, you know, that's like the point. You want it to grow fast and you want it to grow happy. So I'm going to try to put it near, in a good spot so it can do a thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is like crazy hectic. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, definitely let me know. Um, I know this is kind of a newer video, uh, type of video to my channel. My goal is to, well, I can't decide if I'm going to do a lifestyle channel separately or if I'm just going to organize this channel so it works out. But currently my goal is to have like Fridays be readings, Mondays be like spiritual related videos, and then Wednesdays be lifestyle. So, you know, um sustainability, veganism, plants, that kind of stuff. Um, because I like this channel to be about my soul journey, not just like one thing. So, and then plants have become really like a self-love practice for me. And because I don't live in a warm climate and because 
because of things. I, I really feel like I need plants around me to feel like, you know, healthy and grounded. So this is my self-love practice. So it is definitely a part of my soul journey. I love you so much. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so let me know if you like this video, I'm excited about it, and I honestly, because this is a channel about spirituality and self-love, I like to give content that people like, but then I also want to make content that I would watch. Um, I'm only going to make content that interests me, because I'm not going to get into that like whole like... So anyway, you know, the channel evolves. If you've been around for a while with my channel, you know this channel evolves. So. Anyway, this is where it currently is, my current evolution. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And hit the like button and comment down below if you like this, especially if you're like a current subscriber. Because I want to know what you guys are interested in. Because I do. I want to have that balance of like me creating content I enjoy, but content you will enjoy as well. Because you guys subscribed. And you subscribe for a reason, I'm assuming. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my other social media platforms, the link to that is in the description down below, and I have my Etsy shop where you can get personal tarot readings and all kinds of other magical soul journey tools. So, thank you so much for watching. Blessings and namaste, and don't forget, it is all about this little journey.